Mark, it's those online shopping figures that uh, always surprise me. And with that in mind, 64%, does that change how you're thinking about your physical stores? When you think about your flagship, for example, does that sort of become a showroom rather than where people are actually making their purchases? You know, I don't think so. I think that, you know, especially in luxury, it's, it's theater and you have to be there when they want to transact, how they want to transact. And, you know, there's still 36% of the people that are going to shop mostly in store. And that's a lot. Uh, so you got to be there. You got to be there to create inspiration. Uh, and, you know, we remain very, very excited about the partnership that we have with the SFA stores here at Saks.com and how the customer gets to experience the brand uh, all the way around. And when it comes to this shopping season, of course, the lead up into Christmas and beyond, what are you seeing so far in terms of what your luxury customers are actually spending their money on? You know, it's interesting. And in the survey that you, you sort of spoke about earlier in the segment, uh, folks indicated half their spend was going to be self-purchase. Uh, so there is giftables and there are things that people certainly buy for other people, but you see them buying for themselves. We are a GOAT company. Go out and travel. So you're seeing a lot of what people are going to wear on vacation or out to dinner or to the parties they are going to for the holiday. So it's everything from evening wear, suiting, boots, shoes, outerwear, you name it. And then on the gifting side, look, we're seeing that continuation of diamond and gold jewelry. People love giving that as gifts, and it's, you know, it's right for the season. Uh, and then beauty. Beauty is always a big gift-giving uh, category as well. So, look, uh, folks are spending, and they're spending on a wide variety of what we offer across the site. Yeah. Uh, so it's very exciting. Uh, talk to me about discounting, though. Are those folks looking for sales? Are they looking for bargains? How much have you had to offer discounts and promotions to get those sales done? Yeah, we're probably, you know, on a promotional basis, probably about the same, maybe a little bit less than last year on promotion. Uh, so not much. Uh, inventories are in very good shape at Saks, uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But, yeah, the, the customer is always going to be looking for a deal, no matter what. The market could be whatever the market's going to be, and people want to pay less uh, than what things cost. So we got to do that. It's, it's threading a needle, but uh, if you have exciting product and great product, yeah. uh, people are going to buy it.